Most farmers have had a very challenging spring this year. Uh, cow condition is probably quite poor in a lot of places. With the, back, the background being commodity prices haven't been as good as they would often be, and I suppose that puts pressure on farm income as well. So there's obviously a temptation to try and uh, you know do things as economically as possible. Having said that, I suppose it's very important to take a longer term view. At the moment, things might be under pressure, but I think the most important thing that we have to get right over the next couple of months is the breeding season, getting cows back in calf. And we've seen lots of figures from Chagask, you know, where the cost of a lost heat can be as high as 250 euro per cow on a going forward basis so the real objective is for farmers to manage that situation. The things really to watch for here is body condition score. Um, body condition score is very strongly correlated with the number of cows that come back in heat and the length of time it takes them to come back in heat. So that will affect your submission rate very very significantly so it's just we need to maintain that using maybe lower proteins and still keeping, keeping a good level of, of ration in there with a, a good energy level in there. The, I suppose one of the real indicators of um, cows being under pressure is where milk protein falls. Uh, if you see milk protein falling, it's definitely an indication that you're actually short of energy. So it's important to, to recognise that as an issue. And we'll all want to, I suppose, uh, manage feeding levels when grass comes. But in doing so, I think the, the objective here is to make sure that our CalMag levels are covered, our trace element levels are covered, our selenium levels are covered, and our approach is, generally is to try and pack as much as we can into a lowish feed volume that farmers can use at grass, get the maximum out of the grass, and at the same time cover themselves for all the possible uh, downfalls, if you like, to make sure the breeding season is successful. And uh, you, you, um, there's a few products there, one for the transition, one for um, just when you're at grass full time, that's called spring, the spring breeder. And the spring breeder is really packed uh, with goodies, if you like, and nutritional products to make sure everything is covered at a two and a half kilo feeding rate, uh, including our Clown Mag, we've protected selenium, copper, zinc, etc. in there. Uh, all of those good things in a feeding additive that actually covers for the cost of all the rest in terms of its return. It gives you at least a two to, two to one return on the additional cost of all the extras. So it's definitely a season to make sure we get the breeding right, make sure we get the submission rates and make sure we get conception rates. That delivers you know, the, the results for the future.